Hello everyone. That's once again Vincenzo Piccolo from uh, Dermatology Unit of the University of Campania, Luigi Van Vitelli. And uh, uh, today in my presentation, I will uh, give you some information about a novel reaction that I observed after uh, COVID vaccine. In particular, a clearance of uh, molluscum contagiosum uh, induced by COVID vaccine. Um, first of all, let's see together the picture of the patient. Uh, this was a 63-year-old woman who developed uh, a, um, an erythematous uh, skin reaction around uh, previously existing lesions of the face. As you can see here on the picture, um, in the picture on the left, on your left, um, there, are, there are some uh, erythema crusting and the previous lesion are uh, uh, still visible here um, on the cheek and uh, on the forehead. The lesion had appeared um, just a couple of days after the second dose of the Pfizer uh, vaccine and the patients referred to my evaluation because of uh, long-lasting uh, um, erythematous lesion. At the beginning, the, the diagnosis was not easy because this uh, reaction could be um, secondary to eczema or uh, irrita irritative dermatitis. Uh, uh, but if you take a look to um, dermoscopy, you can easily make your uh, diagnosis. In fact, at dermoscopy, we have a central amorphous structure seen in the, um, in the lesion still persistent on the skin, uh, not where the erythematous reaction was still present, surrounded by these linear crown vessels. This is the typical finding observed in molluscum contagiosum. Uh, this is a, an abstract of the paper uh, that we published about this patient uh, on the Journal of European Academy of Dermatology and uh, Venereology. And what we uh, observed in this patient is that the reaction progressively led to the um, uh, to the disappearance of molluscum contagiosum. And it was a very exceptional case because no previously reported uh, were about this strange uh, uh, phenomenon, probably induced by COVID vaccine. In summary, I tried to, to list the um, uh, crucial features of these patients. Um, first of all, um, she developed an erythematous reaction around the previously present molluscum contagiosum. Um, this reaction is very similar to the so-called both sign. Do you know what both sign is? The both sign has been described in uh, molluscum contagiosum as an acronym referring to the beginning of the end. When a molluscum start to develop a rhythm or a nodular reaction or crusting um, within the, 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 the context of the lesion itself, it, it is going to uh, progressively disappear. So it's a form of spontaneous disappearance of molluscum. In this case, the, the both signs of the erythematous reaction surrounding a molluscum that is not an infection, a bacterial infection of the molluscum, but it's a, a, a form of spontaneous resolution was uh, probably induced by COVID vaccine. Uh, no other reports uh, were, uh, as I told you before, uh, presently literal about this similar phenomenon. Probably we have um, observed in uh, past years similar cases, but never published because no one associated this phenomenon to uh, other uh, vaccine. There are a few interesting reports about the efficacy of intralesional MPR vaccine that um, showed efficacy in the resolution of molluscum. Um, some authors 
inject its uh, uh, NPR vaccine directly into the lesions, leading to a, a fast and uh, a prompt response uh, uh, through the um, towards the, ter the, the, the resolution of the um, uh, cutaneous infection. And the hypothesis of this very strange but singular phenomenon is that the vaccine may probably induce a non-specific immune reaction against pox virus and secondarily uh, determine the resolution of molluscum. Thanks for listening. Bye.